This is USFD bell testing machine made by EEC. So, first we have to see what are the main function, main switch, main button of this machine. So, this is on off button. So, first we will press then it will get a start. Second one, first we have to see which angle probe we are going to use. So, for that we have to press this angle button. So, if it is here written 45, if we are using 0 degree, then first we have to change it to 0 degree. So, first we have to press the angle, then it will display that angle particular, then if we have to change, so first we have to press the angle and this enter below or side button we have to press, so it will change. So, if it is 0 degree means we have to make it 0. So, this is now changing. So, it becomes 0. Now, we will have to enter this button. Next, we have to see which probe we are using. So, probe as per crystal which is two type single crystal and double crystal. So, this is the mode. If single crystal probe, then we have to make mode P plus R. Same crystal will transmit and same will receive if it is double crystal. So, again we have to press then mode will convert into T minus R. Next one probe 0. If any echo is appearing on the screen, so it is not at the proper location. So, that echo we have to make at the proper location. For that this is the probe 0 button. By this pressing the probe 0, here in microsecond time is showing. So, we have to make it less or more, we have to change it as per our requirement. So, it is showing on the x axis and it is related to the time. So, it is time based scale and here it is denoted by the microsecond. So, first we have to make it 0. If again we are pushing means it will increase or decrease in the course manner means rapidly. Second this one is the delay button. This is also for the movement of the echo from left to right or right to left. Both the function is same. By this probe 0 it is in microsecond and by this delay button it is in mm. So, basic function of this two button is movement of the echo from left to right or right to left as per requirement during the calibration. This one is velocity button. If our probe is normal probe 0 degree, then it should be the 5920. If it is not 5920, then we have to make it 5920. We have to increase from here and make it 5920. If it is other than 0 degree, then we have to make velocity 3230. So, we have taken as per example, we have taken normal probe 0 degree. So, we will make the velocity 5920. Next range. Range is how much depth we are going to test. So, beam path should be sufficient. So, it scan the full body, full object depth. So, it is in the x axis. Whatever the we have taken the range, it will distribute in this x axis in the 10 part. For example, if we are taking 0 degree, in 0 degree we have to take the range 300 for well testing. If we are using 45 degree, for 45 degree range will be the 275 mm. If we are using the 60 degree, for 60 degree we have to take the range 165. So, first we have to press this range button, then we have to make it as per our requirement. Which probe we are going to use as per requirement of the probe, we have to make it. So, just like if we are using 0 degree, for 0 degree range will be the 300. If it is 45 degree, then we have to make the range 275. It is, if it is 60 degree, uh, 70 degree probe, for 70 degree the range will be the 165. So, this is range. Next, this is the rejection. Rejection is the default value. In USFD testing, so many unwanted echo is appearing. To suppress that unwanted echo, we are having some default value. 
it should be not more than 20 percent. So, we can make it up to the 20 percent. Next one, this is the gain button. Gain is nothing, this is the intensity in decibel, we are going to send the ultrasonic pulse into the object. So, first we have to press this button and as per our requirement, we have to increase or decrease. So, this is the gain. Next, this is the gate. Gate is, this one is here showing the gate. If any echo is appearing <coughs> on the screen, so if that gate will touch, then all these value H, S, B and D will show. If gate is not touching that echo, then all this data will not show. So, basic function of the gate is to declare or show the what are the value, what is the location of the defect and what is the height, amplitude or severity or intensity of the defect. So, if the echo will touch means all these characters of that echo will show. So, H will be the intensity or amplitude of the echo, S will be the state distance, B will be the beam path and D will be the depth. It will appear only when that echo will touch this gate. So, gate is nothing but a chain, it will show all the property of that echo. Second, this one is the gate shift. As per requirement, we have to shift either left or right. So, first we have to press this gate shift and if we have to take right side, left to right, then we will press here. If we have to move it first, means again we have to press this same button. So, it will movement of this uh, gate will be the first. If we have to move in the left side, so first we have to press this button beside this center in the left side. Again, if we have to move first, means again we have to press this shift button. This is the width. So, as per our requirement, we can make it more or less, we have to increase or decrease. So, as per our requirement, we can make it a smaller or bigger size. So, this is the function of the gate width. Next, this is the gate height. As per our requirement, we can make it 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent. It is as per our requirement. So, first we have to press this gate height and if we have to take higher, so we have to press this button. If we have to take lower, means we have to decrease the height of this gate, means again we have to press the below button, so it will decrease. So, these are all are the function of the gate. So, this is the main basic function of the button. If we are going to do the calibration, during this calibration, all these function we have to operate. So, now we will do the calibration.